Today I'm doing Liz Taylor makeup. Liz Taylor inspired makeup. Let me zoom out a little bit. I've already went ahead and applied my foundation, which was a darker foundation than the Countess and Sir Sally's. I used my bare skin foundation. And then I topped it off with a little bit of their original foundation powder. And I also did my eyebrows. The next step is to use this contour color as a blusher again instead of regular blush color as her blush isn't really like a pinky blush color. It's really just kind of a tanner, darker spot. We use this brush again. And we're gonna apply a pretty, sh a more straight line. Not as low as Sally's was and not as high as the Countess's, just kind of a straight line like that across the cheek. Hers also goes pretty close on the inside here. It doesn't really lay just out here. It goes right on it. I also forgot to mention that I did put um, quite a bit of the foundation on my lips. Her lips are a fair lot thinner than mine. So I just went ahead and applied that so we're gonna make them look a little bit less full. Now that we've got all that finished, we're gonna move right along into the eyes, which are the biggest part of her whole look. They're very Elizabeth Taylor Cleopatra look is her general go-to makeup throughout the whole um, season. She's got the Cleopatra eyeliner and so that's what we're gonna stick to. First things first with the eyes I'm gonna use my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. Just put that all over both of my eyelids and all the way up to the brow. And then I'm going to take my Ulta palette and I'm going to use these two blue colors right there. We're going to use that all over the eyelid and that all in, in the crease of the eye. Take that light blue on a little fluffy brush first and just put that all over your eyelid. I'm going to take it to right about there at the highest, mainly focusing right here on the eyelid. Now that we've got that eyelid good and saturated, we're going to take that darker blue color and we're going to use our little angled brush here and just take that right in the crease and take that fluffy brush with the light blue on it and blend that in So it's a nice little shadow there. And next for the eyes, I'm going to take this nice little gold color right there. And we're going to take this above the light blue all over the eyebrow bone right there. And then last for that little part, we're going to take this lighter goldy white color and top off that brow bone. And we're, gonna, we're not going to focus this one all over the top of that one, we're mainly just going right under the eyebrow here for this color. Now for the part that's going to be the hardest the eyeliner so I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in a little bit for that for the eyeliner I'm gonna use this Tarte precision longwear eyeliner and we're gonna start out with just a regular line on top like I always do all the way from the inner corner I usually am so used to just flinging it up, but we're not gonna do that because hers isn't really flinged up. It actually goes down to the lower line, which we're gonna do in a second. So just leave it there for a second. And we're gonna go ahead and line the under eye. And 
from that lower line right there, we're going to start to take it out. Just to about right there. And then we're going to take that top line down to meet it. And it doesn't quite come to a point like normal, just winged eyeliner. It squares off. Hers actually kind of comes down in the corner, in the inner corner there as well. So we're going to take that. It doesn't quite come down, but it does meet up around that corner. So we're going to do that. actually leans at quite an angle, so we're going to go in and do a little bit of this. There we go. And then after you've got your eyeliner done, just a quick swipe or two of mascara. And then to top off our Liz Taylor look, all that we've got left is the lips, and I am going to use her lips seem to be usually like a peachy color, and I've got this little um, lip velvet matte lip glossy stick thing from Ramel. Is it Ramel? Yeah, Ramel, and it's just the perfect color. I'm going to go ahead and put that on just really in the center. You can't even see me. Focusing mainly in the center of my lips and not so much on the outside. Like I said, hers are a little bit thinner than mine are, so we're going to go ahead and try and make that look a little thinner. And there it is. Our Liz Taylor makeup inspired look is done. I even wore a fancy floral kimono that you can't even see. And I got these fabulous earrings on, just like she always wears. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little series and let me know if you have any ideas of who you want to see next.